I made a video recently about the Montec Air 100 PC case, and spoiler alert, I really liked it. But Montec saw my review and reached out to me with an opportunity to check out one of their newest PC case offerings, which they're dubbing the best mainstream case of 2023. We'll just see about that. Hey YouTube, I'm Danny, welcome to the channel. The Air 903 is Montec's newest PC case design that includes tempered glass, pre-installed RGB fans on some models, and Montec's signature magnetic front mesh panel. There's technically four variants of this case available. You've got the base model, which includes three non-RGB fans, two on the front and one at the rear. It comes in at an amazingly low price of $65 US. Then you've got the max version, which I have here that includes four fans, three of which are RGB and one non-RGB. It also includes an RGB and fan controller and only adds $10 to the price of the case. Each of these models comes in either black or white. The white versions add another $4, so it's 69 for the base in white and 79 for the max. Now there's a lot to talk about here and I'm excited to get started. So let's do this. I like to do a complete walk around of every case so you can get an idea of where everything is and what each one offers. If you don't care about this, feel free to use the timestamps below in the description to jump ahead. Starting with the view window side, the tempered glass panel is removed using two thumb screws, and these are captive by the way, which means they retain onto the panel. You just slide back and lift away. Be careful, the channel that holds the panel is kind of thin, so it can just fall on the ground if you're not careful. This case can accommodate ATX size motherboards and even comes with extra standoffs to support eATX motherboards. There's three cutouts along the top for cable pass-throughs, two down the side with rubber grommets, and three along the bottom. The power supply shroud is well ventilated and has mounting holes for two 120mm fans and a vertical GPU mounting kit, which is sold separately. There's also one extra pass-through for your GPU power cables. For cooling, you can fit up to a 360mm radiator at the top or at the front. You've also got the ability to mount up to nine fans in this case if you count the two on the power supply shroud. Clearance maximums are 400 millimeters for the graphics card, 180 millimeters for a CPU air cooler, and 240 millimeters for the power supply. Taking a quick look at the rear, all versions of the case come with a 140 millimeter non-RGB fan pre-installed. The PCI slot covers are removed using a thumb screw, which is nice for a case at this price point. Moving over to the front, the Air 903 has Montec's classic magnetic removable dust filter. Behind the mesh panel are three RGB fans on the max version and two 140mm non-RGB fans for the base model. There's cable pass-throughs for each fan too. The front panel surround can be removed if you'd like to give you more room to work when installing an AIO or swapping the fans. The cable management side has lots to offer. There are three Velcro tie-down straps and on the max version, you get the included RGB and fan controller. This all comes pre-wired and installed, so there's really nothing you have to do. The 903 has five mounting locations for 2.5 inch SSDs, and it's got a 3.5 inch tray at the bottom that can hold up to two drives. Up top, you've got a removable magnetic dust filter, and for IO, you have a power button, two USB 3.0 type A ports, one USB type C port, a separate headphone and microphone jack, a reset button, as well as a button for the LED controller, in case you don't want to hook it all up to your motherboard or you don't have an ARGB header. Well, that's all she wrote. Let's take a look at how this thing came together, and I even did a little bit of temperature testing just for fun. Oh, man. 
Now I completed two different types of temperature testing with the Air 903 Max. I like to do Cinebench R23 to simulate a CPU intense workload, which will stress all the cores to 100%. It creates a lot of heat. And I like to do Unigen Heaven, which simulates a gaming workload that pushes all your power against your GPU, as long as you use high settings. In Cinebench R23, I saw an average temperature of 77 degrees Celsius with peak temperatures hitting 80 degrees. Not too bad considering I used a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D for this build. They're known to push a little bit of heat. In the Unigen Heaven testing, the 903 saw 67 degrees Celsius on the GPU and 58 degrees Celsius on the CPU. Unigen Heaven is more realistic of what most users will experience when using their PC, since it simulates that gaming workload. I'd say that's pretty good temperatures considering the cost of the case and the components that I used in the build. Now that you've seen it all, let me give you my build notes with some positives and negatives that I thought with this case. The first thing I really liked is the fact that they give you four fans, three of which are RGB. These are 140 millimeter fans, by the way, not 120s. So they don't have to spin up as much to be able to create the same airflow. So they're a little bit quieter. And they give you that controller in the back to control your fan speed and your RGB. That's giving you a lot of stuff for only $10 more than the base cost of the case. The second thing I liked is the good amount of cable management space behind the motherboard tray. I didn't do the best job cable managing, but it gave me ample space and I think it turned out pretty well. Considering there's not a whole lot of tie down points, I guess that would be a little bit of a negative. I think that this thing could use a few more cable tie down points if I'm being honest. The third thing that I liked is Montech's claim to fame magnetic removable front dust filter. It's really easy to take this thing off and every one of Montech's cases that I've used so far includes this feature. It's just a really nice touch with something in this budget category and it makes cleaning your PC a breeze. Speaking of easy, I thought building in the Air 903 was great. If you're a first time PC builder, this case is perfect for you. It has a low entry cost and it's got plenty of room for big components. I mean, look at my Asus Strix card. It kind of looks small in this thing but the footprint of it is not huge. The last thing I really liked is the price, or should I say value? Because that's really what matters most when building a PC. You wanna make sure you're getting the most for your money, right? Okay, finally the dislikes. There's not that many and that's why I saved it for last. I think the cable pass-through cutouts at the top are rather large and with the fan and RGB controller mounted up top, you really don't have anywhere to hide the connectors. It's not a big deal, and honestly, if I used an AIO, you wouldn't have even seen them. So I guess it's really just me being picky. The only other thing that I'd improve on is the cable management area. As I said, I wish there was a few more tie down points. And when I went to use my custom cable extensions, I pushed them through the rubber grommet pass through and they came off so easily. There's just not a whole lot of area coming from the sides of the rubber and the custom cables just kind of pushed it through and it was really hard to get it back on because the motherboard extends all the way over the rubber grommets. It was kind of a pain if you ask me. I'd recommend moving the Velcro cable channel just a little bit more towards the front of the case. That way it's not in front of where the cable pass-throughs are. That's it though, the likes severely outweigh the dislikes by a landslide. Okay, the overall thoughts of this case. If you skipped ahead, you're about to get the TLDR. The Air 903 is a performance tier chassis at a budget level price. You get a large amount of space for big components without the huge footprint, and don't forget all the included fans this thing comes with. This thing looks great, has excellent airflow, and costs less than pretty much every other case with the same features. I'd say Montech made a good call when they named this the best mainstream case of 2023. I mean, for $65, you really couldn't ask for more in a PC case. If you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more on PC components or maybe some head-to-head -head comparisons, make sure you subscribe down below and come back for more content. And as I always say, I'm Danny with Danny's Tech Channel, and I'll see you in the next one. There you go, now it focused on you. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye now. Goodbye. But some things stay the same.